Hey, welcome to another video in the Emacs Goody series. Today we're going to be talking about something called SQL Light Mode. Now, this mode is only available in Emacs 29 or later, I believe. So, if you're on an older Emacs, I'm sorry you won't be able to use this, but you'll be able to see what one of the goodies that is available in Emacs 29 or later. So, before we jump into SQL Light Mode um, and giving a preview of that, first I got to show you the configuration that I have for it. So, let's go jump into my README configuration. And there we go. Uh, for some reason, it did not took me where I want it to be, but that's fine. We'll go into SQLite mode and let me extend it. And yes, here we go. Okay. So here we have a simple configuration. I say, hey, I'm going to use a SQLite mode. Let's not make sure that it's installed because this is already built in since Emacs goodies is all about the built in packages in Emacs. And next, I set up some simple key bindings. For example, NNP is just for next line and previous line. Pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. There is one thing, um, as you'll see once I start demoing, that this mode is rather limited. And somebody else over here, uh, over at this blog, I'll put that link in the description, created some extensions for it so that you can do some uh, extra goodies with it. For example, edit columns in line and all that good stuff. Uh, I can't remember everything, but if you're interested in using this more often, you will probably be probably be interested in looking what this person created and also this person created a package called ChatGPT shell so they created a few packages so they know what they're talking about so yeah here we go so let me show you how SQLite mode actually looks like so let's do meta x SQLite mode open file so this is going to be our entry point and then I'm just going to point to a directory or a file where the database is in so right here I'm just choosing this database that I have already so I'm gonna press enter and as you can see we have a buffer just for viewing the data inside this database and the status SQLite so for example if I go into let's go into Django content type so these are all the table names and if I press enter it will simply expand to show me all the data that's in here now if I want to look at the columns so I just pressed enter for that to be able to see it and also one quick thing for all the upcoming videos I put this little key cast right here so that you can see what key bindings I'm doing up in here in the top right top left corner that way you can just see it so if I press enter it expands press it again it decollapses. if I press C it shows all the information for the databases uh, I'm sorry it shows the schema for the database as you can see so it's pretty straightforward that's pretty much what it can do at this moment there's not much that you can do with it you can refresh oh of course you can also delete things uh, let me see let me delete something that I don't care about I can delete the session so in order to do that I just press the delete key not the backspace key and so I press delete and then I will have oh is it the backspace I guess it is the backspace my bad so we press the backspace and in the minute buffer it says really delete the point under and you can just say yes or no if I say no nothing happens if I say yes it deletes it if I do it again it deletes it again so there you go now there's nothing in the database so that's pretty uh, pretty nice that you'd be able to do that there's is some minor very minor thing but it's still nice that you can do it now that I showcase this let's jump into the configuration not the configuration but the source file to see if there's anything that we can customize so for example let's see SQLite mode open file let's see where that's in and give it a second to load it's in SQLite mode file and right here a mode for examining SQLite database files so if we look for any customizations there's actually none none of def custom and also there's not quite of the variables either it's only the key map and the SQLite that's currently connected to and if we look at the key map there's also very limited things that you can do there's only list tables as columns uh, return and then delete so all those are already showcased but yeah it is pretty bare bones so I do hope they keep on working on this because I find great value out of this but yeah, I've completed what I want to do. Just give a quick demo of SQLite mode, and that is it. Now remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.